kick off your shoes, stay right there, sit yourself down in an easy chair. Buck's gonna give us a taste of the outdoor life. We got ducks to hunt and fish to catch. You might even take us to a shooting match. Let's join Buck for a bit of the outdoor life. Now, if you've been wishing for a little fun, Buck's gonna show us how it's done. There's no better time in the world, you know, than Buck McNeely's outdoor show. We got high adventure with a natural flair. You can see it all from your favorite chair. Let's join Buck for a taste of the outdoor life. The Outdoorsman is brought to you by Outdoorsman International. Connect and subscribe via our social media pages. Welcome to The Outdoorsman. I'm Buck McNeely. This episode, we will study and hunt for America's favorite big game species, the white-tailed deer. Multiple hunts are featured, so stay tuned the adventure begins next. Dangerous ladders, gutter muck. Ugh, no wonder you hate cleaning your gutters. Good thing there's leaf filter. Our patented filter technology keeps leaves and debris out of your gutters forever. Guaranteed. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER to get started and get the permanent gutter solution that ends clogs for good. They took the time to answer all of our questions. They really put us at ease. End clogged gutters for good. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com today. Poshmark is the perfect side hustle. It got me through school, a new job, and getting into my first apartment. There's so much I can sell. Bags, accessories, home decor, and it's so easy to sell on Poshmark, you can do it in a minute. I love it. Meet the Taylor family. They no longer pick up their ladder to clean the gutters. Since they picked up the phone and called Leaf Filter, their low monthly payments are affordable. Their gutters are no longer a hassle. Now only water flows through their gutters. No debris, no damage. Leaf Filter gave them clog-free gutters for a lifetime. The Taylors and over 1 million other homeowners all choose Leaf Filter. Call or log on today to save 20% off. Call 1-833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Success when hunting, fishing, or trapping is found when you're prepared with the right gear and equipment. Whether passing on the tradition or hunting for the trophy of a lifetime, you can rely on the products and experienced staff at j and Outdoors. Locally owned and proudly serving Northwest Missouri for over 10 years. Look at that sphere. Hidden inside, actors, musicians, pop culture icons. January 3rd, it's the next great celebrity guessing game. We are family. A relative of a famous person will sing. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Does that voice remind you of somebody? I recognize the voice. I'm so confuzzled. Mama, do you know who it is? I don't have a clue. Anthony Anderson hosts We Are Family, coming January 3rd to Fox. takes us to my ranch in Missouri. I'm blessed to have a piece of God's creation in rural Missouri. I've lived in the city in my younger days and always dreamed about owning a place in the woods someday. Now that I live here, I'm content and thankful every day of my life. My property is a combination of forest surrounding open areas 
containing my home and outbuildings. The rest is pastures growing hay. The surrounding neighbors have similar layouts. The wild forest in our patch of Missouri is much larger than the open areas. Over the years, I've encountered a variety of wildlife, including coyotes, fox, bobcats, coons, possums, armadillos, and turkeys. My neighbors report they have seen black bears and mountain lions in our area. I suspect my pack of hounds keep those critters at a distance on our property. We also have lots of deer. The white-tailed deer is the most widespread deer species in the Western Hemisphere. It's found from Canada into South America and has several subspecies. In the wild, deer can live five to six years, but in captivity, they can live up to 14 years of age. There's an estimated 30 million deer in North America today. This is a classic story of successful game management. In the 1930s, there were only 30,000 whitetails in the USA. The sustenance hunters shot them year round for food, thus reducing the population to near extinction. I remember my grandpa Lloyd McNeely telling me when he was growing up in those days, they never saw a deer or a turkey. After World War II, established seasons, bag limits, and conservation programs have allowed the deer population to bounce back and surge to new levels of the current overpopulation. There's more deer in this nation now than when the first European settlers arrived. The increased food supply is a big reason. Our farmers grow corn, wheat, soybeans, and other crops that are prime deer food. They habitually raid my orchard. Here's my apple trees in mid-July. They've picked every little green apple that they can reach. I also put out salt and mineral blocks for them each year. In mid-November, Max and I make it a point to be home for the opening day of firearm season. We get three landowner tags to harvest two antlerless and one any deer tag. Max, opening morning of deer season one more time, buddy. Yep, we're back at it again. We've been doing this a bunch of years, even when you were just about knee high to a grasshopper, you'd come out and hang out with me. Yeah, I've had some experience since then. Well, we'll see what happens today. We've seen some deer around. Mm -hmm. Of course, the big bucks always go nocturnal before the season opens. Yeah, they go into hiding. Oh, there's a little deer. Little forked horn, he's just a baby. Let him walk. Yeah, he's pretty small. Yeah. Hopefully other people let him go so he can grow. Well, you know, I've always wondered because we're surrounded by other ranches and farms. And we hear a lot of shots over the course of the deer season. I wonder if my neighbors see a little guy like that and have the restraint to let him walk too or whether they just shoot the first thing that uh, walks in front of them. Mm, I'd like to think they do. So there he is with going across. He doesn't even know we're here. Would have been an easy shot for us. Mm -hmm. We want mature does, mature bucks. Mm -hmm. And I just wonder how many of my neighbors feel the same way. No telling them. We let them walk, so we can only do that much. Sometimes I'd rather get up and and go drive or walk or uh, actively go pursue and hunt. A little spot and stalk, yeah. But with deer hunting, it's not always effective. You gotta kinda sit your stand in a place where you get crossing animals and you've seen them before and you know it's just a matter of time before you see them again. Look, there's a deer. He's trotting through, too. Yeah, see if you can get on him fast enough. See if I can stop him. 
Meh. He's still gone. All right. Like that's a miss. He's going for the woods. I think you may have hit him that time. He got into the woods. We'll have to follow him up and see if he's down. Man, he wouldn't. He wouldn't stop. He wouldn't uh, give you a broadside shot. So you had to kind of take a, a trotting shot there. Oh, well, I think I definitely missed the first one, but the second one, I think I may have hit him. It was right before he got into the tree line. So I think you. I think you got him. Looked like a decent sized buck. We'll have to go find out though. Milo's right up here. I'm pretty sure he's already got it. So let's go check it out and see what we got. Got it, Milo? Good job, Milo. We're fine. Good job. Okay, he's done. He's done, though. One hour. Yeah, he only got the one. The one broke off, it looks like. Looks like it's been broke off, too. Probably from a, a fight with another buck or something, I would think. Yeah, it's an old break. From our angle, we could only see this antler, so we assumed yeah. he had two of them, but that first shot, I missed. That second shot, it got him just in the lower boiler room here, and he didn't get too far, maybe 40, 50 yards from the tree line here. Mr. Milo and the other two dogs here, they got in pursuit. Milo, get off him. And they found him. Now the fun part, dragging them out and cleaning them, but that's what we do. We're here with Chris Cunahan of our local leaf filter. Tell us how leaf filter is different from every other gutter protection on the market. With leaf filters patented filter technology, there are no gaps, no openings, no place for debris to get in at all. We install leaf filter on your existing gutters. You'll never have to climb a ladder to clean out your gutters again. You know, that's peace of mind and then some. So how do people sign up? To schedule your free inspection, call 833 leaf filter today. Our agents are standing by. And we're live. I am so excited. With Posh Shows, you have direct access to Poshmark's millions of sellers with auctions starting as low as $3. Posh Shows, the newest way to score the deal of a lifetime on Poshmark. Start bidding today. Meet the Taylor family. They no longer pick up their ladder to clean the gutters since they picked up the phone and called Leaf Filter. Their low monthly payments are affordable. Their gutters are no longer a hassle. Now only water flows through their gutters. No debris, no damage. Leaf Filter gave them clog-free gutters for a lifetime. The Taylors and over 1 million other homeowners all choose Leaf Filter. Call or log on today to save 20% off. Call 1-833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Dangerous ladders, gutter muck. Ugh, no wonder you hate cleaning your gutters. Good thing there's leaf filter. Our patented filter technology keeps leaves and debris out of your gutters forever. Guaranteed. Call 833 Leaf Filter to get started and get the permanent gutter solution that ends clogs for good. They took the time to answer all of our questions. They really put us at ease. End clogged gutters for good. Call 833 Leaf Filter or visit leaffilter.com today. Steer on down to the Salty Steer for some seriously delicious Tex-Mex cuisine. Kick up your spares at the bar for a cold one. Bring the family or meet some friends for lunch or dinner. Try our sizzling hot fajitas or the pollo loco. Or check out our website for daily specials. Giddy up and get downtown for the best Tex-Mex around. 
located at 6th and Edmond in good old St. Joe. Open Monday through Saturday, the Salty Steer. Hey there, I'm Craig Robinson. Join me each week to witness how the world's most celebrated team in sports has revolutionized the game while being ambassadors of goodwill everywhere they go. Basketball brings people together. Don't miss the Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward, part of the more you know on NBC. Hi, I'm Dylan Dreyer. Join me every week on Earth Odyssey to explore our planet's epic landscapes, unique wildlife, and colorful beauty. This is Earth Odyssey. Every weekend on The More You Know on NBC. Sun's coming up, Max. Another opening morning. We saw a couple of deer way out there early. They were out of range. We got a any deer tag and two doe tags to fill. Hopefully we can get a nice buck. We've been seeing them move around a lot more. It's definitely the rut, you can tell. All right, there's a deer way out there in front of me. Oh, I can't get on him. That sun flared right in my... And he ducked into the woods. Well, I looked like a pretty good buck, but I couldn't get on him. Yeah, it was hard to find in the camera. I got on him, but even then, it was still hard to see him. That sun flared right in my lens. Yeah, I bet it did. Come back out and give me another try, buddy. They don't do that, do they? Not typically. Usually, it's a one-way trip when they come through our pasture. Okay, over there by the cedar trees, there's something moving. And that's a buck. Are you trying to get on him? Oh, man, he ducked back into the woods. Mm, he didn't come out too far, did he? No, he came out, looked around, ducked back in. And he's gone. All right, well, that's two bucks we've seen this morning. Not bad. Definitely busy. All right, look at that, Max. Another deer stuck right up there above them cedars, in, in between them. Look at him, he's posing, broadside. I'm gonna take him. Down, one shot. That was nice, one and done. Looked like a spine shot to me. Yep. Because he didn't flinch, he just went down. Typically when they just drop like that, it means you spined him pretty good. That's what it looks like to me. He's, al he's already pretty much stopped moving. Yeah, no, he's, he's a dead deer. This uh, back pasture always seems to produce deer, doesn't it? Heck yeah. We'll go take a look, and uh, now the hard work begins. Yeah. All right, good job, Dad. Yes, sir. Open the morning deer. Nothing finer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a little one starting to grow there. We'll call him a seven pointer. We saw two bigger bucks earlier, and I couldn't get on them. The first one. He was dogging a doe across the pasture. And when I got on him, the sun flared right in my scope. And I couldn't lock on, and then he was in the woods and gone. And then we saw another one right over here by this cedar tree. And he must have seen us or been suspicious or whatever. And he turned <laughs> and disappeared back in the woods. Uh, it was a different deer. This was the third or fourth buck we saw this morning. We saw a couple of does earlier and let them go. A nice Missouri white-tailed deer at 7.50 in the morning on opening day. I'm pretty happy with this guy. I saw a couple of bigger bucks earlier. I'd have been happy with them too, but mama's gonna be happy because we've got uh, some uh, fresh deer meat to put in the freezer. And you know, that's what it's all about, man. We, uh, we feed the deer, we uh, harvest a few during deer season, and put a nice, beautiful animal like this in the freezer to feed the family. Thank you, Lord.
Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Meet the Taylor family. They no longer pick up their ladder to clean the gutters since they picked up the phone and called Leaf Filter. Their low monthly payments are affordable. Their gutters are no longer a hassle. Now only water flows through their gutters. No debris, no damage. Leaf Filter gave them clogged free gutters for a lifetime. The Taylors and over 1 million other homeowners all choose Leaf Filter. Call or log on today to save 20% off. Call 1 833 Leaf Filter or visit leaffilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. It's that magical time of year for family, friends, and tradition. Pack up your family for a fun adventure at Treasure Gardens. Join us for our Christmas bash on November 25th from 11 to 4. Find your perfect tree, enjoy some wintertime food and beverages, and come see Santa Claus. Shop local and have a wonderful time filled with picture-perfect moments that you will cherish forever at Treasure Gardens. Join NLJ Events for Shopping for a Cause December 1st and 2nd at the St. Joseph Rec Center. Get your Christmas shopping started with over 40 local vendors offering a variety of items. Come see Santa and Mrs. Claus and get your picture taken with them. Shopping for a Cause, December 1st and 2nd, St. Joseph Rec Center. Please bring a new toy for our toy drive. See NLJ Events on Facebook for more information. Today, one in five working age Americans has a mental health condition. People in all types of jobs and at all levels. And the key to helping us succeed is a supportive and inclusive workplace. All of us have a role to play in making that happen. So what can I do to help? As a CEO, I can set the tone for supportive culture. As a manager, I can offer assistance and accommodations. As a coworker, I can listen and be a source of support to my colleagues. As someone with a mental health condition, I can ask for what I need to perform my best. I can offer all employees the supports they need to deliver on the job, for the team and for the business. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can remind others that we all benefit from workplaces that promote good mental health. Mental health friendly workplaces are more important than ever. And all of us have a role to play in promoting them. Learn more at whatcanyoudocampaign.org. Well, we got another opening morning here. This episode is actually almost all opening mornings over the last few years. Pretty much, yeah. Because the way it's trended, we see deer opening day and then it gets pretty sparse and tough the rest of the season. Yeah, after that opening day massacre, they seem to go into hiding, don't they? We've already heard quite a few shots this morning. Okay, look over here to the right. There's one coming out. Mm-hmm, I see her. Looks like she's all by herself. Look at her. She's gonna stop there and pose right in the middle of the field. Maybe we'll just let her go, and maybe a buck will be following her. Uh, I always like to try and get a buck tag filled open in the morning, because we have a an any deer tag, which we use for the bucks, and then two doe tags. And now she's out of here. All right, here comes another one from the right. Almost the exact same spot as it. And she's got a little smaller one following her out. That's a mature animal right there. We might ought to take her. Go ahead and line up, take that shot. Instead of waiting for the bucks all day. It's a pretty good one. All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna take her right here. I know I hit her. Well, she looks like she's hit and she's running. And she's disappeared into the woods. Oh, man. I was really hoping to not have to track one, but I know I hit her good, man. She can't have gone too far. Well, let's hope we can find her. We'll uh, probably have to get the uh, 
get the hounds on the trail just in case. They usually expedite the process. They definitely help save us some time getting on that blood trail. I know I hit her good, man. So she couldn't have gone too far. Let's go get the dogs, make sure, and go find her. Hopefully we won't have to finish her. Uh, hopefully we'll find her piled up in the edge of the woods. You did hit her, Max. I knew I hit her good. She's over here in the woods. It just shows how tough these deer are. Even after you hit them, they still take off on you. Hello, I already found her. That was an easy track for a mile this time. Hello, and trip. I thought we were gonna have to go looking for her. Two blood dogs. Yep. Ah, get off. Yeah, she's definitely done. She's done. This goes to show how tough these things are. Yeah. I knew I nailed it. Wow. Milo's got the GoPro on. We got the Milo cam. We're all coming through here. Oh yeah, she's got a good size on her. Looks like some good meat. Wouldn't you agree, Milo? Alright, well there's the entry wound right on the shoulder where yep. you were aiming. And she still took off and ran a long way. That's what I'm saying, considering yeah. So I was so mad, I was like, I know I hit her good. It's amazing, even with her heart shot out how far they can run. Shows the strength of adrenaline, how far adrenaline can push you in that in that moment, because I, I know I nailed her good, so for her to get this far just shows. You know, I was counting shots this morning. Yeah. You were number 112. <laughs> yeah, it almost sounded like 4th of July for a few minutes there, just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. So I'm glad we finally got our chance. We had a few smaller does earlier we saw they were a little smaller so we decided to pass them up hoping for a big buck to come by but he didn't show up and we figured well we might want to take one of these good does if we get a better doe come around and that's pretty much what happened yeah this girl came out with a smaller doe and she looked pretty good to me so you agreed you're, you're a beautiful animal it. I hate to take you out but your meat will be utilized and appreciated thank you Lord for the bounty of the land amen and thank you for not having to track it too far. <laughs> it's cold out here. It's a little snow. We got the snow and we got a dough down. Snow and dough, baby. Snow and dough. Yes, sir. And Milo. Snow, dough, and Milo. And Shredo. Shredo and Bucko, Maxo. Now we got to do some Clean-O. Good dog. Didn't have to work too hard. That's good though. That's what we want. He likes to chew on it, doesn't he? Yeah. Milo. Milo, stop tearing it. I found her. You did your part. He says, can I have a bite? Okay. We got to go for the freezer. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's our show. Join me again next time for another exciting adventure on The Outdoorsman. For more info on Outdoorsman International Preferred Outfitters, visit our website, OutdoorsmanInt.com, and click the fourth button to access. The Outdoorsman is brought to you by Outdoorsman International. Connect and subscribe via our social media pages.